The state is cracking down on nursing homes for failing to enforce vaccine mandates. Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne, and he's live in Studio B to break down what the Department of Public Health is doing to ensure that these facilities do a better job going forward. So, Roger, what is the plan? Well, good morning, Wendell. The plan itself is actually pretty simple. Right now, the state is continuing to hit nursing homes and long-term care facilities in the wallet. Now, some of the fines, by the way, these organizations face could make your eyes water. They're talking about major money. But the big question is, will those fines actually get more facilities to enforce these mandates? Because right now, it really is a major problem. The numbers are staggering. Despite an executive order, more than 100 residential care facilities have not reported any information about the vaccination status of their staff members. The commissioner of the Department of Public Health says the failure is a major safety issue. She writes, reporting timely and accurately to DPH helps the state ensure that the long-term care industry is meeting this goal and brings confidence to the community that our most vulnerable citizens are safe. Nursing homes and long-term care facilities were supposed to ensure that all of their employees were vaccinated by September 28th. But even after the state extended that deadline by a week, hundreds have fallen short. Get this, of the 643 facilities, 35% failed to report by the deadline, and nearly 20% didn't report any information. As a result, the state has issued about a quarter million dollars worth of fines to the late reporters, and that's small potatoes compared to what's coming next. The Department of Public Health says the non-reporters already face about $1.5 million in fines, and that number is growing fast because these facilities can be sanctioned by as much as $20,000 per day. Now, state leaders are hopeful that the escalating fine structure will eventually encourage these facilities to do better. We'll have to see if that happens. Live in Studio B this morning, I'm Roger Susannon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.